but I'll tell you right now, that was a damn good, hard-fought victory in the division. Leaders, you did a great job last week of leading and getting everybody all right on the same page here, and we earned this one. All right, we earned this one. You deserve it. All right, I learned a long time ago. I learned a long time ago. Players win games. Okay, players win games, and that's what I saw on the field today. All right, congratulations. Congratulations. You got a lot of wins, but it's your first one. Yes, sir. single one of you guys, man. It's so much fun to come to work and try to lead this group, and we're going to get better and better and better. You keep your head down and you keep grinding, okay? Yes, I've heard this one before. Give me win on three. One, two, three. Win! win. So Josh McDaniels gets the game ball. He gets his very first win as the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. And the Raiders walk out of Allegiant Stadium with a win over the team that was leading the AFC West coming into this game, the Denver Broncos, 32-23. Welcome in, everybody, to Raiders game day. Amber Theo Harris along with two former Raiders, James Jones and also Eric Allen. What a win as Coach oh, McDaniels oh, says. It feels good just to get that first one. Right, Eric? Yeah, you get sure. the one. Yeah, you know what? Now practice and go back to normal. Man. I know what to do do. I'm dialed in right now in practice. So excited for these guys in the locker room coming off this big time win. All phases today showed up in a big way. Yeah, and I feel like Josh. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this day. Look at this day. We're talking about a win. It got to feel good. Finally, man, game on the line. We made the plays when it counted and got the W. I'll tell you, this show, a lot more fun when you're in the win <laughs> column. All right, coming up on this show, we're going to have full game highlights for you, player and coach interviews. Uh, James Jones and Eric Allen going to have some offensive and defensive spotlights for us. And of course, we're looking forward to Monday night pick em. I know I'm down, but I'm going to redeem myself. But first, let's talk about this Raiders win. Let's get to the action. Russell Wilson coming into this one, leading the AFC West, the Broncos, two and one. First drive. For the Raiders, Derek Carr finds Devontae Adams 20 yards down the field, and he gets the first down. That's going to be a matchup we're going to see for years yeah, to come. Yeah, flex on him because that, that, that's he a problem, but yes. He was a problem. Josh <laughs> Jacobs gets the ball, picks up the first down. This man had five touches in the first drive, and that is what we've been talking about. Give Josh the ball. But after stalling in the red zone, Daniel Carlson makes the 26-yard field goal. And early, the Raiders are up 3-0. Broncos opening possession. They get a chance now, and Russell Wilson finds Cortland Sutton 15 yards for the first down. A few plays later, Broncos find themselves in third and eight, and Nate Hobbs blitzes. Who's yes. that? That's Nate Hobbs That's again. Nate Hobbs. Coming off the edge. Came off the edge with intentions, too. On yeah. third down, forcing a Denver punt. Just a lot of pressure on that defensive, uh, defensive front. Him a little yes. <laughs> Raiders couldn't get anything going on their next drive. They're forced to punt, and the rookie, Montrell Washington, takes off. He was a little slippery today. He was a little slippery <laughs> on this 30-yard return, and it gives the Broncos great field position. They start the drive at the Raiders 35. So four plays later, Russell Wilson Looks to the back of the end zone, finds Cortland Sutton, 14 yards for the touchdown. Broncos go up 7-3, so they respond. Too much time right there. Yeah, you gotta have those Raiders. hands up too in the middle. Raiders next possession. Give me a little more Josh Jacobs. It's like cowbell. You can't get enough. You're gonna need more cowbell. Josh Jacobs, 12-yard reception. Complete back. He's a complete back. Later in the drive, first and 10. Derek Hart to Devontae Adams for nine yards. Yeah, easy work. Pitch the catch right there. Tight Devontae Adams split down there. Run a little oaky, little out route, get an easy completion. First quarter ends. We're now in the second quarter. Same drive, though, and it's Josh Jacobs just barreling his way 10 yards into the end That's zone. That's how you finish a run and right there. And mama, there go that man because yeah. he uh, Come get some of that. <laughs> Ooh, he ain't even need no push in the end zone. Two ways that I do this on my Raiders own. up 10-7 at the half later in the second uh, quarter. Uh, Melvin Gordon gets Let's the hand finish. up. Whoop! Let's finish. Fumbling. There's a meek Robert. Oh, look at the skill set. And a mix. Oh, Let me take you back to my Pop Warner days. He's gone. gone. This is the uh, best part right here. But watch Garrett oh. Jones, the lineman. <laughs> hey, he made an oh. effort, but that was Deron Harmon, by the way. 
great. That forced that fumble and the veteran yes. continues to come up with some big plays, but it's Amik Robertson who also had an interception two games ago. He's been making some big plays hey, for that's the one Raiders. Of them. Hey, hey, <laughs> I, I respect him because that's one of them ones where the coach could come in there and say, man, look at the effort from your old <laughs> But here was the problem. No they end the second yeah. half, Russell Wilson uh, to Jerry Judy, they score, but then the Raiders get the ball back with a minute 24. Uh, Mac Collins gets out of bounds smart. Uh, seven seconds, 17 seconds left. Uh -oh. This is uh -oh. what we need. Uh oh, uh oh. Look at Pick his knees up. Huh? <laughs> Run through arm tackle. Let's get some, DC. Let's get some. Any awareness. Timeout, timeout. Fresno, time that's Fresno State, man, DC. Man, come on, man. Look at him picking knees up right Look here. Look at his high knees. Huh. Looks like Forrest Run Gump. Run tackle. Uh, Carr had 40 yards on the ground, by the way, and the timeout. Oh, yeah. And the timeout. Oh, yeah. Heads up play. In the game. Heads always Last in the game. play of the half, 39 field go yard field goal is good, and the Raiders go up 19-16 at the half. So we go to the second half now. Start of the second half. Both defenses come to live. First uh -oh, there we go. the Raiders and Max Crosby oh, that's with every the sack. Week. That's every week we're giving you that effort. Every yeah, week. Yeah, man. Max coming on that little stunt. But K1 Williams Russell. says, whatever you do, Crosby, okay. I can do better. So he matches with the sack of Derek Carr, forces a Raiders punt. But on the Raiders' next possession, Guess who it is? It's uh -oh. that man, JJ. Man, oh, Josh Tommy. Jacobs. Oh, come on now. now take your, take my shirt. I don't you gotta care. Got to be on the controls that's, right now. Hit the A B button. Man, man. That's just filthy right there. That, that, that's filthy. And for me, right there, as a head coach watching that, I'm looking at everybody on the sideline. Say we might not Watch throw this, this thing the rest two, of the three, game, four, man. Look at Josh. Five. Come on now. Ooh, and he got, got that burst away. right now. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. He's feeling good. Josh, He's looking good. Josh got a different mindset this season, and it showed up, man. It showed up every game. But the Raiders, again, struggle in the red zone. They can't uh, get it done. So Daniel Carlson makes the field goal. They can't get seven. They get three. They go up 22-16. Fourth quarter now. Derek Carr Watch to Devontae Adams. Ooh, that's 13 big yards. Yeah, ain't, no that's big ain't no linebacker for the catch. Mm. Next play. Remember number 10 last week? Matt yeah. Collins, they find him Give again. They find 16 him. 16 yards. And we're going to break down this play a, a little bit a little bit later. He's a but big dude. But that man. was all about what Josh Jacobs brought all day. Sucked everybody in for the run. The Raiders settle again for a field goal. Raiders two for five in the red zone today. Daniel Carlson had 14 points by himself. Broncos get the ball back. Need to get some offense going. And boy, do they. Russ going deep to K.J. Hamler, who hadn't had a catch all game. Gets his first catch of the season. It's a big one. 55 yards. Can't have broken coverage right there. In the next play. Russell Wilson does what he does. Three yards out. The guy's going to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah. You know, you got to be able to contain a guy like Russell Wilson. So the lead is cut to two. And there's Derek Carr finding Devontae Adams over the middle. That gives the Raiders a new set of downs. This might have been the biggest play in the game right here, man. You know, second and 13. Devontae don't break that tackle right there. Who knows what we're looking mm -hmm. at. Could be punting that thing. And Josh Jacobs isn't the only one that can run the football. That was Amir White yeah. on the pitch. Uh, he gets it down inside the 20. And the next play, give it to Josh Bounce Jacobs. It again and finish. Finish strong. He Seven ain't been yards out. By the first guy all season long. Josh is possessed mm. to run this football. Look, uh, vision. Yeah. Uh, we don't care. One. one more jump cut, then I'm dipping. You two. Yeah. 144 yards, two touchdowns. The Raiders win. Uh, Josh McDaniels gets his first win of the season, and it feels good just to get that first one. But I'll tell you, we had been begging and pleading yes, on all of the Raiders programming. Just give Josh Jacobs the ball, because this is a man that was rushing the football for over five yards a carry, and it seemed like that is the identity that Josh McDaniels wanted to go with from the first drive. You know what they say, God is good. <laughs> all the time, because God answered prayers, man. I was praying in my sleep at night. Hey man, give Josh the rock, Josh the and rock. that's what Coach McDaniels did. And Josh been rewarding him all season long, been. right? Yeah, so yeah. it was good that you come out here and you say, here goes 20-plus touches, because right. you earn that. You and, earn that. And again, a big part of it is not being behind, being able to yeah. utilize yeah. Josh. And again, the yards after contact has been outstanding you can't tackle for this him. young man, Josh Jacobs. So much explosion. And then you love the fact he's always a threat in the passing game. Josh Jacobs really continues to show out. As long as he's healthy, man. You're talking one about of the top a, guys in the league. You're talking about a complete back, a catch it, could run it. 
Could protect, could pass, protect. I mean, Josh Jacobs is doing it all for this football team right now. I ain't gonna say it's money on his mind, but it's something on his mind yeah, listen. where he's trying to go get. Because this right here, the way yeah. he is finishing runs, this is a different guy mentally. It's okay to be a run-oriented football team. It's okay to have Josh as the leading guy and everything else can kind of blossom off of that. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's 2022. It's okay to be a running, dominant football team and then everything come off of that. We see when Josh is running the ball and Josh is toting it well, the Raiders win the game. It might not be pretty. It might be ugly. Sometimes it's pretty. But when Josh is running and Josh is having success, Look the Raiders that. win Look football that. games. Now, that's just Look, special that's, right that there. You know, that, that's not coachable. That's like Pop that's, Warner that, right that's, there. That's woke up out of the bed with that right there. That's God-given ability. <laughs> the Raiders were able to consistently move the chains to 25 first downs yeah. by the Raiders. They were 50% on third down. Remember last week? Oh. They were 8.3% <laughs> on third down. Right that's called improvement right yeah. there. Let's take a look at our final game stats presented by Sportswater. And one of the things the Raiders did very well, they stopped the run on defense. We haven't even yes. gotten to the defense. We'll get that. No. We'll get that later. In the the show. We're saving the best for last. I know you can't <laughs> wait to talk about that. 85, the yards. 85 yards they held the Broncos to on the ground. And as for turnovers, you can see when you yes. win the turnover battle, that is when you're going to win games. Now, I know the Raiders want to work on the red zone offense. They yeah. scored enough points. Amber, we got to be We got to be better. Got to be better. Last week, got to be six. better. This week, two for five. Come on now. If we're rushing it and taking it away, though, we're going to be talking about a lot of W's up here. I know, but Daniel Carson yeah. said, it's all right. I got you. I give, I'll give you 14 <laughs> points today. We're going to be just fine. All right, we're going to talk to Josh Jacobs, the star of the Raiders win, 32-23 over the Denver Broncos. Much more to come here on Raiders Game Day. Raiders Game Day is brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights, book now only at Allegiant.com. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. And so the Raiders get their first win on the year, 32-23, over the Denver Broncos, thanks to a career day from Josh Jacobs, who joins us now from Allegiant Stadium. Josh, I don't know if you watch our shows, but we've been saying just give Josh Jacobs the ball. I guess somebody was listening to us. But, hey, how does it feel to get this first win? Man, I mean, winning always feels amazing, man. It's, it's a feeling I, that you never take for granted. Josh, it's JJ hey. here. Hey, first off, I want to say thank you because I couldn't come on this show 0 and 4. <laughs> so, number one, I appreciate you. But number two, bro, yes, on this show, we've been telling everybody, give Josh Jacobs the rock. How good did it feel, man? I mean, you're in the double digits on touches. How good did it feel? And tell him you want more. <laughs> Man, man, when I came into this game, to the beginning of the game, I, I sat down with the O-line and I told him, I was like, today's going to be one of them days. Uh, so, man, I, I just trusted that uh, the coach trusted in me and kept giving me carries, and I tried to do the best with, uh, with my opportunities. Hey, Josh, I tell you what, man, I think that your leadership is underrated. Great job by going in with the O-line. Talk to us a little bit about how that leadership continues to uh, uh, build, even though you're not getting as many touches as you want. Man, I was telling guys, man, uh, I, I've seen the, the ups and the downs in this league, you know, and, and this, in my early career. And I was just telling them, man, like, you got to come in and, and gel with each other. All the great teams, you know, they play for each other. So we came down. We had a players-only meet in the beginning of the week. Uh, we, we locked in on the, on the little things, the fundamentals of the things that we reestablished, the things that we wanted to do uh, in this season, man. And, and we just came in and, and put it together today. Josh, you look, you look like you're different mentally right now, man. I mean, one person ain't bringing you down. You're running through five tackles. You're finishing every run. Mm -hmm. Like, mentally talk to us, man. You just look like you're on a whole different page. What's, what's got you going right now? Man, I mean, I, 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 this offseason, man, I came in 10 pounds lighter than what I played at last year. Uh, I, I took the time to really, like, learn a, learn a playbook and to gel with the guys and, and really just reestablish what did I want out of this. You know what I'm saying? What did I want out of this year? And, uh, man, I, I just try to put that out, out there every time I go out to play, whether it's catching the ball or whatever I'm doing, you know, I just try to give it all. Josh, it was early in the season. You guys are down 0-3 on the season coming into this game. And it was clear that the offense really hadn't found its identity. Do you feel like as we move towards finding an identity, it is that this should be a run-first team? 
Man, it's it's hard it's hard to find an identity when you got so many weapons like we do, man. Uh, I think it's more so of when when the guys get the chance to to make a play, we just gotta execute. You know, any any guy on this offense right now can can break a big play at any given moment. So it's just about executing the little things, and, and when it get hard, not not giving up on each other. You know. Josh Jacobs, 144 yards, a career high on the ground, <laughs> two touchdowns. Josh, congratulations on your first win this season. Man, I appreciate it. Thank Way to you. Go, Josh. Hey, we appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And uh, one That's thing that we, we saw today, and we've been saying this, when you establish a run, it's going to open the game up for Devontae Adams. We saw Devontae Adams have two games where the production wasn't where he wanted it, where anybody wanted it. But today it was there, nine catches for 101 yards. Didn't get in the end zone, but still a major part of this game, Eric. For sure, these are two of the best young football players going at it. Pastor Chain's an amazing young cornerback, long, can kind of deal with everybody. But Devontae put him in his place today, and I thought that was important, just not for, you know, Devontae, but for this football team to know that if they're going to try and match their number one corner on Devontae, he's going to be able to capitalize and have an impact in the game. Well, and it's going to be problems, too, and that's why we've been begging for Josh because it's not about the other receivers stepping up. It's about giving the ball to Josh because now that safety has to come down in the box, and we get one high. A lot of these catches that you see for Devontae, it's off coverage. So he's able to get started off coverage, make it easy on Derek Carr. Devontae in and out of his break, explosive pl player with the ball in his hands. Just get it to him, and he is going to make plays. But this right here, when you run the ball, you allow Devontae to get on linebackers. You allow him to have off coverage. Right. And you allow him to be able to do what Devontae does. This is another form of being aggressive, too. Like right? we talked about aggressive the first couple of weeks of the season, play calling, and just uh, Derek Carr. You have to figure out a way to run the football. Then you can have some aggressive play calling in the passing game. Did a great yeah. job with it today. Uh, you know who uh, ran the football very well today that wasn't named Josh Jacobs? He's a speedster, Derek Carr. Yes, yes. <laughs> Derek Carr yeah, he was picking had them knees 40 up. yards yeah. on the ground. <laughs> Look at him. And mo more importantly, two very big first downs as a result. He wasn't afraid yeah. to move the chains himself. And he'd be Derek... in the weight room. He finally ran through a tackle. You know what I mean? I'm proud of you, brother. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Derek Carr had a chance to speak to the media after the game. Here he is. Derek, you guys got the ball back uh, after they scored, cut it to two, and you guys get the ball back. What was the mindset offensively? Because you, you guys were in that situation a little bit against Arizona, didn't yeah. didn't get it done. What was the mindset going into that drive, and how how gratifying was it to be able to finish it the right way? It was awesome. You know, Josh Josh called us up and he reminded us. He he said. He, to the offense and defense, like in a team meeting, he told us, like, you should want the burden to finish the game, you know, and, uh, you know, not hoping that someone else does their thing or, you know, they, they fix the problem, whatever. Just like, hey, whatever the game asks for, if it's our turn, do our job. And uh, so the fact that he talked about it, he called us up beforehand to remind us, and then, then uh, when we went out there, we were able to go get points. Like, that, that feels good. And I know it feels good for Josh because that's what he was preaching to us. And so... I was just happy. I, I guarantee when we turn on, you're going to see 11 guys all doing their job, you know, and doing it the right way. Uh, and that, that's only going to help us going forward if we can keep that mindset. Two things. Um, Josh has talked about being at your best when your best is required. I would imagine that kind of a drive sort of is what he's talking about right there. Uh, there's two ways you could go on there. You could be aggressive or you could be sort of careful uh, yeah. in that situation. As a player, um, wh what do you want to be in that situation? Uh, to me, it's always easier to be aggressive, you know, because if you're aggressive, you know, um, from a from the play standpoint, like he like he is, and that's how he's always been. Like it helps us as players because if it's not there, I can make it conservative. You know what I'm saying? There was one late or later in the game, he calls a play and they covered it. Man, I go check it down to Josh. We didn't hit it, but that's that's the mindset. That's him and I working together and the team working together. And so um, our job as offense is to score points. And so whatever that calls for, that's just kind of the mindset we're trying to keep. Just when we get the ball, go score. Uh, lastly, do you remember what your 40 time was uh, at the uh, at the scouting combine? You kind of put it into gear that gear today. Yeah, yeah. They t they said I looked faster than I used to today, and I said that's good because I'm 31. So uh, I think it was I think it was laser 469, uh, hand time like 459. That's what I say. But uh, but it showed up today. But that's that's just something that if P if they want to double everybody, I'm going to have to do that. You know, to help the team. Yeah, you've been around uh, Meek for a while. What's going through your mind when you see Judy make the two short gesture and you kind of make some plays a afterwards? Oh yeah, I mean, that, I mean, if you, you watch any kind of 
it's funny, I'm dating myself now. I'm, this is not my ninth year. I'm 31 years old. And so anything you see on Instagram that's seven on seven, everyone's making fun of somebody every time they make it one catch and one play and all this kind of stuff. And uh, Judy's a heck of a player and all that kind of stuff. But that's just the world we live in now. But there's still a lot of football to play. And uh, I think one thing that, that you're seeing at the professional level is when that stuff happens, we're still professionals. There's still a lot of game to play. And Amik kept doing his job and just kept competing. And uh, I've always loved him. Yeah, he's a guy that we say is always constantly trending upward. You know, we always say that about him, just his personality. And so to see him make plays, the, how hard he works, um, for him to go out there, I mean, he made some really good tackles, you know, uh, some big tackles that usually those are catch and three more, and he was catching, you know, no more, you know, and that's, that's huge for the down and distance and all that different kind of game at that point. So he, he did some good fighting off some blocks on some bubble screens and making tackles, and I could tell it made him mad, you know, when he did it. And he's like, all right, Q, we're going to keep playing. So it was, it was good to see him compete that way, especially with all the injuries we got going on in the secondary. But I was happy for him because he's such a good good kid. Uh, took a right. mental Who's note here? of that number. I said, I'm going to see like you that. later. Yeah. I will find you later. So Derek Carr, uh, one of the things he did great was not turn the ball over. So the Raiders are able to win the turnover battle, but they sustained long drives. They dominated the time of possession almost nine minutes more than the Broncos, able to move the chains. 25 first downs versus the Broncos, 11 first downs. And Eric, that's, that's impactful. That's big. When you're yeah. defense and you're able to sit on the sideline and watch the game a little bit, you know, because yeah. your offense is chewing up that time possession getting first down after first down. I just really thought Derek was in control today. Yeah. Really, in such situations where the first couple weeks it looked like things were forced, wasn't forced today. He no. was very calm, yeah. under control, making things happen. Yeah, and what I loved about it, too, because on a couple of those third downs, to have it at 50%, he picked up two or three of those with his legs, yeah. got outside yeah. the pocket. <laughs> One thing I took out of there, though, he said, 4-5, not nah, uh, nah. I ran 4-5. I will smoke <laughs> Derek Carr. So it's not about four Right seven. now. Right now you can get it. Right now. <laughs> I can't wait nah, to see DC, that competition. No, I love That's my dog, man. 4-5-9, uh, I think he has one. You know where? I think he just said, catch me outside, Derek. Yeah. I'm not sure. All right, well, we come back we're gonna catch JJ with the uh, offensive spotlight showing you why Josh Jacobs is a Denver Broncos killer coming up next right here on Raiders game day my name is Naomi Z I'm 17 years old I attend Amplis Academy in Las Vegas Nevada I play for their flag football team I'm a corner on defense and a receiver on offense what flag football means to me is creating a bond with individuals and working on myself whether it's mentally or physically what it means to be selected is that all my hard work and dedication to the team on the field and at school paid off. Thank you to the Las Vegas Raiders and the Intermountain Healthcare for giving me this opportunity. Without flag football, I wouldn't be here where I am today. game day and so the Las Vegas Strip is hopping not that it isn't always happen yes. but the Raiders get the win and uh, Raider Nation leaves Allegiant Stadium excited and a big reason for the win EA was that 144 yard performance by Josh Jacobs Man, another performance great performance with Josh against the Denver Broncos he's the Bronco killer he is and JJ is <laughs> gonna show us why in the offensive spotlight show us JJ Absolutely. And we're going to break down this Bronco killer, and he's an everybody killer. They need to keep on giving him the rock. But I'm going to show you a couple of plays right here why Josh Jacobs makes this whole offense a whole nother level. Right here, we in the red zone, right? You see they got him in the box, right? Still don't matter. Josh Jacobs about to come downhill for you, and watch him finish this run. As you run this play, you see Josh Jacobs right there. He's only back in the backfield. He gets it. Look at that's five yards after contact. He don't need no O-line pushing him in the end zone. He needs none of that, right? Coming downhill. But look at the O-line work right here, though. This this not soft right here. This Raider nasty right there. That's coming down, double team, moving people out of the way, and Josh Jacobs finishing the run in the end zone, right? They struggle in the red zone, hand the ball off to Josh Jacobs. And then right here, this is just... Hey, this is just what God blessed him with, right? We can't break this down. We can't coach him this. We ain't no drills for this. Ain't no nothing, right? Fresh out of the womb, this is what Josh Jacobs got. And he put it on display today. Look at this, right? This is special. First you see it, ha, I'm going to jump cut. Then I'm going to spin on you. Then I'm going to break a tackle. And then as it is, I am downhill and I got juice. 
right? Y'all don't know what juice is. That's speed. I got speed. You can't catch me. However many yards later, down. And this is what I'm talking about right here. This is why we need to tote it. Look at the linebackers come up in this thing because they know 28 is toting this thing. And then look at Matt come behind these linebackers. A big, explosive game. I ain't Josh McDaniels. I coach Little League football. But I'm giving the ball to Josh Jacobs because this is the effect he has on the game. And if they do that, we're going to be talking about a lot of victories. And as EA said, JJ, he is the Broncos killer. He's played several games against the Broncos, always has big ones. Uh, last year, in two games, he had 182 yards. And then he continues it today, 28 carries. That's the key. 28 carries. You gotta feed Josh Jacobs the football. He comes up big with two touchdowns. And more importantly, it wasn't just Josh Jacobs. Yes, he had 144 yards, but this team, EA, yeah. had 212 rushing yards. Everybody was involved in the run game. And when you have a ground game like that as a defensive player. Oh, man, it just wears you out. You don't want to tackle down. the guy. You don't want to cover. They're saying eight in the box. You know what? You're playing one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And then yeah. the passing game takes over. This what this Raiders team is capable of doing. We haven't seen four quarters yet. Mm -hmm. Wait till we see four quarters. Man. And we're talking about just running teams out of the building. Man, tote that thing. <laughs> you you that said thing. Josh Jacobs speed. That's, I just want to be sure. That's better than, that's a little lower than four, five, nine. Yeah, he probably, is, he, probably, he probably a step ahead of me, you know what I mean? He's he just Josh, a step ahead of JJ. Josh will be like this. <laughs> uh, all right, when we come back, we haven't even discussed this defense, which really stepped up in this win over the Broncos. 32-23, Raiders are in the win column. We'll be right back with EA's defensive spotlight next on Raiders Game Day. This segment has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Welcome back. The Raiders are celebrating their first win, 32-23, over the Denver, Denver Broncos. And the defense continued what they started at the end of the Titans game. If you remember, last week they shut the Titans out in the second half, J.J., and we saw a good performance again today. And we've been asking for four quarters, right? That's you it. know, they came out one week, played first half, didn't play second half. Came out one week, played second half, didn't play first half. Today, they played four quarters, and the energy and effort was up, and they got a takeaway and scored, you know. So mm -hmm. big-time plays from the defense. Whenever you can score – for on the defense, you got a really good chance of winning the ball game. But it wasn't just that. It was the little things. And to talk about that, let's turn it over to our defensive guy, Eric Allen. What's up, EA? Hey, guys. Another players-only meeting. If you can do this every week, we're going to have a players-only meeting every day. Okay? <laughs> it's all about the defense right now. Defense really stepping up, doing an outstanding job. Denzel Perryman, our Pro Bowl linebacker, black back in the lineup. And I tell you, man, he's processing fast and even playing faster. Outstanding job here by tackling defense. We're getting after it all day long. Let's run the clips here. Denzel Perryman, first you got to do is you got to process the information. Guard to running back, look at that. I mean, just unbelievable, just coming downhill. At the, and again, we'll see here Denzel Perryman one more time. Just allowing the defense to kind of set itself. And then he's running downhill outstanding job playing at the second level one more time again you have to process the information understanding what you see and then never settling I'm tell telling you Denzel Perryman is just playing out of his sneakers right now just really being the kind of football player that we need at that second level we missed him the last couple of weeks and once again just showing you how he attacks a football and then we go to our number two guy and you just love Hobbs the ability to cover guys but again being able to be a run stopper in the middle of the football field. You see the spin there, getting him down. Hobbs always on point in the middle of the football field. This run defense today brought it from play one to play 60. Really proud of this football team. And, of course, these two football players really catalysts of this football team. We're talking about run defense today. Back to you guys. And the defense has been very strong in the second half of games, and today there was no difference. Look at the first four possessions uh, of the second half man. for the Broncos. Punt, 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 punt. Look, punt, three of those punt, were three punt. and outs. Oh, that's what you want to see. Three of those yeah, were three yeah, and outs. That's what you want to see. Right uh, Denzel Perryman, by the way, did leave the game. Yes. Uh, he'll be in concussion protocol, so that was a tough break. We'll keep an eye on him throughout the week. Hopefully they get him back for Monday Night Football against the Chiefs. Yeah. How big is that? That game coming up now. Humongous, Amber. Humongous. They're back in it in the they're, division. They're back in it if you continue to play 
complimentary football, run the football and play great run defense. One game at a time. They, they in that locker room, good feeling. They driving yeah. home, getting them some jack in the box, feeling good, <laughs> right? Let's get in back in here and let's go get the Chiefs. All right, didn't want to get ahead of ourselves, but Josh McDaniels, congratulations to him. Yeah. He gets his very first win as a Las Vegas Raider and he had a chance to talk about it with the press after the game brought to you by Yamava. Josh, uh, Max Crosby had a really good game today, two sacks. Uh, it seemed like he, he really keyed the defense there in the second half with that, that start that they had. How big was that to helping you all you know, take yeah. control of the game? He, you know, he's, he's, he's worked so hard in every phase. You know, as a, his leadership has been great, his effort, uh, his presence, uh, and then obviously his play. And, you know, so those, you know, these are the – these are the situations where, you know, your you're back's against the wall a little bit and you want to try to come out here and give your best effort and try to get your first W. And I thought Max had a great attitude all week long, and then it carried over today. And I thought he made some big stops in a running game. He ran some plays down from behind. Uh, and then, obviously, he, he got some pressure on the quarterback and got him to the ground a couple of times. So um, that's Max. You know, it doesn't surprise me uh, that he plays like that with that kind of uh, uh, that energy and effort. And, you know, he made some really critical plays for us. Josh, um, <clears throat> obviously coming into this season, you would have wanted to have your first win before week four. You mm -hmm. just talked about having a lot more meat on the bone. Uh, just for you personally, with this first win coming against that group on the other side, does this win feel a little bit more poetic for you in any sense? I don't believe so. I really, I have said this over and over again. Um, you know, I don't, I don't look at them with any ill will. They gave me a great opportunity at a young age, and um, and I, if anything, I look at it like it was a blessing because I learned so much from it, and uh, you know that made me better. And you know, I've, I've been uh, forever grateful to Mr. Boland for what he gave me an opportunity to do. And unfortunately, I didn't do well enough with it, but I, I hopefully have learned from it. Uh, but again, I don't I don't look at that team with any kind of an ill will other than the fact that they're a division opponent and we don't like any of those guys. So, um, you know, that was that's the sweet part for us is I don't want to make this about me. This is just our team trying to, you know, um, hold our home turf here against another division opponent. Josh, you get a couple of defensive players back today that help you out, and you could see the impact Denzel Perryman was having right away, yeah. and then he goes down with a concussion. How's he doing, and what's the prognosis? Yeah, I don't know anything about the prognosis. I, I just saw him, so he's got a big smile on his face and very happy about the, the outcome of the game, but uh, I thought he was really making an impact in the game. You could see his, his speed and his aggressiveness um, certainly was showing up play after play. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll, if he's in the protocol, then obviously we'll, we'll go through those, um, you know, important steps here to make sure that he's good to go before he returns. Josh, it uh, seems like you're whittling it down on the offensive line, um, number one. Uh, do you feel pretty good about the group that you had out there today? And then secondly, uh, that playing into Josh's day and the type of day that he had? Yeah, I mean, whenever you run the ball for over 200 yards, you know, it's obviously never just one one guy's responsibility. So, um, look, I, I think that group is really fighting. Uh, they're getting better. Uh, they're, it was good to have Andre back out there. You know, he's obviously a calming influence, played a lot of football for us. So, um, you know, I think we're, we're making progress. We're heading in the right direction relative to trying to get to the point where we, we don't have to do as much of that. Um, we'll continue to stress the competition, though. I think that's made them all better. What have you, uh, I love that uh, Derek Carr gave Coach McDaniels the game ball, too. That was very yes. appropriate to get the win over the team that he used to coach, his first win. But uh, one thing I want to touch on that McDaniels said, James, he talked about the offensive line. This was uh, the eighth different combination of offensive linemen <laughs> that Derek Carr has played behind this season alone, only four games in. But you have to give credit to these young linemen, especially the left guard, uh, Alex Barr, who just came up from the practice squad, had a heck of a game. Yeah, absolutely. And then one sack last week and then to come into this game and tote the ball the way you ran the ball. I mean, they was mauling people. They were. You know, I'm not really concerned about the pass protection. You know, Derek Carr, sometimes you got to get out of there and make plays with your legs. But this unit was mauling people today. The double teams moving people out, out of the way. I mean, Josh Jacobs coming down here. At one point, he was averaging seven yards a carry. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's moving people out of the way. That's yeah. not getting touched until you five yards down the football, football field. So whatever they did today, whatever rotation they had today, they was playing ball today. Yeah, whatever group is providing that way to run the football mm -hmm. needs to be there, right? And I understand the competition and understanding that players want to be involved in the in the game if you have a great practice. But that group that continues to 
play well with the running game, that's the group that needs to start off this football game. Mm -hmm. And I think this team will be right in the ready, ready in the situation they need to be in a couple weeks. Yeah, this team as a whole, 6.7 yards per carry on the ground as a whole. All right, coming up next, guy who made the big play, Amik Robertson, on his fumble recovery for a touchdown. Raiders get the win over the Broncos. This segment has been brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. So the Raiders get their first win over the team that was the AFC West leading Denver Broncos coming into this game. Now the Raiders are one and three and thanks in part to a huge play late in the second quarter by Amik Robertson and he joins us now. Amik, first of all, congratulations on the win. I was under the tunnel before the game and I heard hooting and hollering coming in and I look and it's this group of people and they were wearing jersey 2-1. Had to be your family, had to be your friends. They knew you were going to have a big game. They were excited for you and you put on a performance for them uh, take me through that play take me through the fumble recovery for the touchdown uh, honestly you know we knew we was going to have opportunities you know by watching film we knew we was going to have opportunities to to you know get the ball out of them you know they had a couple fumbles you know early on in the uh, year whatever some some also last year and you know I just uh, you know do made a hell of a play you know I and once I got the ball in my hands I turned it to high school me you know a lot of people don't know I used to play <laughs> offense in high school man I was different with the ball in my hands so I just try to get in the paint man and help you know help our team get some points on the board we thought you looked like a running back yeah. that's what we said he looks like a running back was that used, were you a running back I used to like, yeah, I, I, well, really, I was an athlete, you know, in, in, in high school, I was an athlete, you know, coming up, I had number five, man, I had number five, you know, I started playing when I was like, like five years old, man, my favorite back was Reggie Bush, you know, still is okay. my favorite back all, all time. Well, yeah, man. Well, hey, you, you had a little stiffy when you got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Quick little move, and you got in the pay dirt, man. Big play for the Raiders and that defense. But I want to go through a moment because Jerry Judy caught a rock, and I don't know if you can see me, but Jerry Judy caught a rock on you, and he gave you the little boy. Oh. And, the next, and the next four <laughs> plays after that, it was a different 2-1. I seen a different 2-1 out there. Talk me through that. One thing about it, you know, um, if uh, – I feel like if a person make a play, play on me, it's always my, my fault. But at the end of the day, I'm a person. You got to do it again. I'm so competitive. I told him, like, we're going to you gonna have to do the same thing again because I, I ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And then when I made the play, I told him, like, I'm not going nowhere. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here, to, here to stay. You know, I ain't going to lie. He's a very competitive, you know, guy. So it was, you know, me and him trained together, you know, coming out, coming out. So it was, you know, it was great going against him. Yeah. I mean, talk a little about the physical part of your game today. It showed up big time. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I've been that been since, you know, I've been that way since I was in college. You know, I knew I was an undersized guy, so, you know, I, I had to play bigger, you know. So uh, I always had that mindset to, uh, to, to always play bigger than, than, my, um, than my body frame. So, Amik, was I right? Was that your family and your friends that are here at the game today? And when they, they, I yes. mean, they've got your back, I can tell you that much. Yes, yeah, <laughs> since, since, I mean, you know, since the, since the adversity, they always stayed there. They always believed in me. When you got a, you know, group of people that, you know, kind of always in your corner, it always helps you thrive. So, you know, I'm glad they came out, and I'm glad I, you know, gave them a great uh, show. Amik Robertson, congratulations. Uh, you had the fumble recovery for the touchdown after a couple weeks ago. You had the interception. You're making big plays out there for the Raiders, and they get the win today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you so much. Sure. And you know what is, is really interesting about what's happening with this secondary? We're really seeing the depth. Amik Robertson is not a starter on the depth chart coming into this season. Uh, Jerron Harmon, not a starter on the depth chart. He's the one that knocked the ball out of his hands. So the depth of the secondary, EA, how Big important time. is that, especially when you're trying to be a playoff caliber team? Yeah, competitive. You know, yeah. you know you're going to face the best of the best, right, mm -hmm. in this league. Dave has done an outstanding job, Ziggler, in getting players to come in, be competitive, understand the game plan, and make plays. These yeah. guys who've been back up, have their chance, have their opportunity. They're getting in, they're making plays, they're impact players. That's what you need to see in the secondary. Uh, speaking of impact players, I, I remember you, I think we have some video of you. <laughs> this wasn't the first time a Raider. <laughs> uh, well, let's go for Amik first. Right. Here is Amik's yeah. uh, big let's play. Let's analyze it. Bang. The oh. running. Let's oh, here I go. The running. Okay, so a cut in. One break a right. tackle. That's nice right there. The uh, another broker tackle. Stiffy. Bounce it outside. 
that's good stuff. Yeah, and then pick your knees up and let's go. Yeah. You and know what I mean? Coast in. Let's go. boy's 72. Uh, uh, he tried. Uh, he dove that straight uh, here. Uh, uh, John Harmon, I, I want to give credit to him as well. He also had another big play yes. earlier yeah. in the game. And a couple games now, he's had some big plays. So the veteran stepping he's up as well. He's starting to close. He's starting to close some games. He, the, his nickname's The Closer. The Closer. That's, That's what right, they call huh? him. Yeah. But speaking of The Closer, Flashback. back in 2001. Flashback. Look at that. Look at That's the old time football. Bam. Oh. Oh, oh, gotta go. Let's go. One. Get, get out of here. I know that guy. Oh, look back. at him. Put the ring on. Oh, oh, I see him. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. He's going to play on that baseball <laughs> diamond. No. He's on that baseball diamond. on that baseball diamond. Early in the <laughs> season. <laughs> Earlier in the season, I didn't know yeah, I got my you were playing. Pants on. Yeah, yeah, you play for the Oakland A's and yeah, right. field with that field or not? Yeah, but uh, yeah. you know what? That can change. That can change it, an entire game. You won that game. It does. Yeah, we won the game. Yeah, we won the, the, game. Yeah, we won the game. Just like a meek coming through, big play of meek. Yeah, one, one, one year later, that was gonna be. In, I mean, one year earlier, that was gonna be in black and white. Now. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably going to ninth grade or something. <laughs> I was five. I don't remember it. I don't remember it at all. Uh, hey, we were all at the game. It was so great to be there and to see the home crowd. Right. Um, but there was a, a beautiful tribute by Judith Hill to remember oh, yeah. the victims of October 1 here in Vegas. Very appropriate, very moving, but uh, the black hole. I mean, Raider Nation, they were in full effect. Michelle Williams sang the national anthem. Judith Hill was sang for Michael Jackson, by the way. Marvelous. Backup singer for Michael Jackson yeah. for many Unbelievable. years. Unbelievable. Um, Fifth year anniversary, though. That was very touching and right way to do it. The Las Vegas Raiders, halftime, pregame, have hit home runs yeah. every single Not week since fans have been able to be. It's amazing in. to be. Yeah. Champions. Yeah. Champions. Yeah. The Las yeah. Vegas Aces light. They lit the Al May, uh, Davis Memorial torch. So it was just an awesome day to be yeah. at the game. And of course, the Raiders leave with the win. And that's even oh. more important. Much more to come here on Raiders game day. We're also going to get you ready for Monday night football. Keep it right here. Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Modelo, a taste that's pure gold, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. So the Raiders leave Allegiant Stadium with their very first win. They're now 1-3 with the 32-23 win over the Broncos. And now all eyes turn to next Monday night. Let's get it. A this. divisional game against the Chiefs. Let's see what's Man, coming up I'm here for, for the that Raiders one, on the schedule. <laughs> you know first, they've got the Chiefs. It out. I'm ready to go for that one. Monday night yep. football in Arrowhead. Good That's going to be a tough one. Good then a little bye. bye. They get a rest oh, after we, that. Here we yeah, go. Good little bye. Smack them, smack them, smack them. Here we, this we go. If they win that game, they're two and three going into the bye, and then they've got a rip of, I feel, winnable games. Winnable. I think we could all agree yeah. on that. Yes. The Houston winnable. Texans at home. That's rock New Orleans Saints robots. away. Jacksonville Jaguars been a very tough team. They play them on the road, but uh, this is an opportunity to possibly get a right. winning record We're going to be all right. Week. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all yes. right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're going to be all right. Put four right. quarters together, run time the football. For, that's it. We're on the right track now, but time for Monday Night Pick 'em. Got one more game coming up here. Yeah. And uh, I'm a little down. Uh, I'm yeah. a little down. Okay, I'm going to be all right. I don't okay, know about Amber. Now. I don't know about Amber. Stryker back in that thing now. I'm going to be all right because the 49ers yeah, yeah, yeah. are going to win this one uh, at home. I like that's Kyle right. Shanahan when his back's against the wall. I think they're going to get it right against Jay, the Jay, where, where you going? Where you going, Jay? Where Amber, you, going, you Jay? live in L.A. <laughs> you see them talking about Aaron Donald and them boys. I'm taking them Rams, man. Oh, too yeah, much yeah. Rams. Too I much like Cooper that. Cup. I like that. I'm going with those 49ers. Oh, okay. man. Jimmy okay. G. Jimmy G is going to get that dub for me. Mm -hmm. Beat those Rams. And then I'm going to pull ahead nah. like I should be. Always in head. You guys are neck and neck here, too. Yeah, JJ came yeah. with the win last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came with the loss First, last week. It's all right. I just can't go with Second, the Cowboys. Third. Never. All right. Coming <laughs> up on our programming this week, catch the Raiders press conference on Monday. Hear from Coach McDaniels and then the Raiders roundtable on Tuesday. That's a new show. And then upon further review mm. podcast airs on Thursday. And, of course, JJ and myself back with you on the Turn Silver up. and Black show on Friday. Right. We'll see you then. But more importantly, the Got Raiders are in the win column. They beat the Broncos. They're now one and three, and so the quest begins to get back on track. For Eric Allen, for James Jones, I'm Amber Theo Harris. We'll see you next week. <laughs>